Hello everyone, Nasir 20XX here. In 2025, the job market is brutal for all developers, regardless of their level of experience. There's an absurd number of layoffs happening and hiring is essentially frozen. The number one reason cited for this and the reason that companies are trying to convince you of is AI. These corporations want you to believe that ChatGPT is gonna be the only developer on teams in the coming years and that all software engineers are gonna be working at McDonald's. Now, if you've never typed a single line of code or you're just ignorant to how AI actually works, you might actually believe this and start looking to pivot to another industry. However, before you make that choice, I ask that you hear me out and consider my perspective on the issue. AI is not going to replace developer roles anytime soon, anytime in the near future, and I'm going to explain to you why. So first and foremost, AI really isn't as capable as they want to convince you that it is. Companies like Microsoft and Nvidia will try to convince you that AI is so advanced today that it's already taken jobs. Now, first and foremost, you have to remember, these companies make money by convincing you that that's the truth. If people think AI is so good that it's going to revolutionize the labor market, then people are going to invest in these companies. Because Nvidia is selling the chips to OpenAI and Microsoft has an investment in OpenAI. So, of course, they want you to believe that. But if that's true, then AI should be fully capable of building and maintaining applications, right? Well, I mean, Cognition AI promises that with Devon, an AI-powered full-fledged developer, capable of completing Upwork jobs and collecting the funds. And this would be revolutionary if Devon were actually capable of doing this, but I mean, of course it isn't. A breakdown of the Devon demo video by the YouTuber Internet of Things exposed Cognition for heavily exaggerating Devon's capabilities. Devin was found to have not actually completed the, uh, the request of the Upwork customer, providing miscellaneous lines of code rather than instructions that the customer asked for. It fixed quote unquote errors in a GitHub repo. However, many of the files that Devin was shown to be editing didn't even actually exist in the repository. Furthermore, the timestamps of Devin's progress reports to the user spanned over a day, whereas Internet of Things was able to complete the tasks in little over 30 minutes. So that means a human developer is 48 times more efficient than an AI powered developer. So I mean, if these companies want to lose efficiency and lose money, then hey man, yeah, let them go AI first. But then if the lack of efficiency and capability wasn't enough to make you question the idea that AI is going to replace developers, what about its potential to just destroy your code base and wipe your database? Because Replit, an AI-powered development environment provides you with a defiant and destructive coding assistant that will just flat out go rogue and destroy your project. So, Tal Intelligia reported on the founder of, of SAS TR, Jason M. Lemkin's experience, in which the coding assistant just wiped his live database, lied about it for four weeks, and faked 4,000 users to try to cover it up. The assistant did this after being instructed to not alter the code in any way. So if you're one of the people worried about AI going rogue and defying its creators like Terminator style, you might be onto something. Uh, I'm just kidding, of course. But this does just show that AI just isn't ready to manage a code base yet. I mean, fortunately, Mr. Lemkin was able to recover the data he lost, but this type of situation just wouldn't occur if there was a capable junior developer just running the unit test instead of a rogue AI assistant that has no clue what it's actually doing. And I mean, if the AI can mess up this bad from just running unit tests, I mean, imagine if you actually told it to like write a database schema or, you know, like manage your user accounts uh, pfft, and it can't even run unit tests. Sure. But anyway, even fan companies really aren't safe from these catastrophic AI bloopers. Like TechSpot reported that Amazon's AI coding assistant, Amazon Q, was compromised when a hacker injected a prompt into the coding assistant's GitHub repository, commanding it to clean the system to the near factory state. I mean, like, had this code been executed, it would have wiped out nearly a million users' AWS cloud resources. And the craziest thing is, Amazon didn't even detect the security breach. Like, it actually rolled out the update in uh, version 1.840, right, of Amazon Q, and it had this destructive prompt in it, right? I mean, the hacker himself actually came out and mocked Amazon for this major oversight, calling their AI security measures security theater. And he's 100% right to criticize Amazon for this, like as so many founders and small businesses rely heavily on AWS to host their websites and databases. I mean, like had this prompt been executed, everything would have gone to hell. And that's why I always encourage you guys to own the full stack and host on your own hardware. Because you trust Amazon to, you know, host your site and, and have all your resources. You have an S3 with all, you know, your assets, 
for your your website and you know you have your database on an on an, uh, an e3 instance and then something like this happens you know what i'm saying and you're just done so i don't know man but with these kinds of security concerns and catastrophic failures like you got to also realize government development roles are pretty much going to be safe forever like there's no way any country is going to risk some rogue ai leaking government secrets or like declassifying sensitive documents like you just can't trust the machine with everything and these companies are just going to keep learning the hard way and honestly truth be told these companies might not even be around in the next few years like at least not in the capacity that they currently exist like in order for ai to continue on this cavalier like as this cavalier you know ushering in the new technological age like these companies have to provide the service and eventually turn a profit but uh, like when it comes to that open ai you know is a privately traded company so they're not required to publish their per, uh you know their earnings report but microsoft has a sizable investment in open ai and Microsoft is obviously a publicly traded company. So obviously they're required to make their earnings report public. And it was concluded right by Windows Central that the amount of money Microsoft lost on an investment, which was four point seven billion dollars, right? That OpenAI must have operated at a loss of eleven point five billion dollars, right? In the April to September quarter of the twenty twenty five fiscal year. But I mean, let's be real, right? Is that really a surprise? Like Forbes reported that OpenAI is spending $5 billion annually on Sora 2's AI slot videos. That's $15 million a day, right? I mean, the company clearly has no idea how to monetize the app. Their loose oversight with the portrayal of intellectual properties and famous figures mean ad revenue is just completely out of the question. So, I mean, at this point, like OpenAI as a company is probably not even going to be around. And then companies that try to take this AI first approach and replace human workers always seem to have to roll back that decision and rehire their human workforce. Gizmodo reported on Klarna, Klarna excuse me, which in 2023 went all in on AI, going so far as to call themselves OpenAI's favorite guinea pig. Yeah, pause, honestly, for me even repeating that. But these companies have serious issues. Um, they reduced their labor force from 3,800 to 2,000. But of course, you know, they said it was just natural attrition, right? It's very believable. Anyway, after bragging about how AI was going to do the work of 700 employees, they ended up having to do a mass rehiring of human workers because their customer satisfaction was in Tartarus. Um, so now instead of AI being used to get rid of workers, they're just using contract work to exploit students and rural citizens. So, you know, got to love our corporate overlords. You're always going to find a way to save a buck. You know, like, and that's, you never trust these companies ever. Like at the end of the day, their best interest, you know, is with the company and getting their bonus. Like they do not care about you as a laborer. Um, you know, and again, going back to fan companies like Apple notoriously overpromised on its AI features for ROS 16. Um, and to this day, we still haven't seen most of those promises fulfilled. I mean, it, it got so bad that a senior director at Apple's Siri division called a hands an all hands meeting to tell his team that he knows they feel angry, embarrassed, and burned out by the whole situation. I mean, on the user side, a cell cell survey found that 73% of iPhone users reported that AI features provided little to no value. So at this point, they've just given up on trying to implement AI themselves completely, um, and kind of reasonably so at that point. But CNET reported that Apple is going to pay Google their competitor, by the way, $1 billion a year to use a custom Gemini AI model to fill in the, the cracks in Apple intelligence. But Google was just found to have faked an entire presentation for Gemini AI. Uh, TechCrunch reported that Google used still images and selectively chosen text prompts to make it seem like Gemini was narrating a video of a blue duck when it absolutely cannot do this in reality. So not only is Apple paying its competitor for technology, a tech company, by the way, paying for technology, they're paying for technology that doesn't even work as advertised and provides no value to their users. Uh, I would really love to know why these companies insist on just burning money. I mean, just throwing it into the furnace to force AI down our throats is absolutely crazy. So not only is the AI not making any money for the companies trying to use it to replace workers, it's actually not even generating profits for the companies providing the service. Like last time I checked, companies in a capitalist society that fail to turn a profit just cease to exist. <coughs> Open AI. 
um you know assuming you're not a bank or an insurance company because you know then the, the government would just bail you out but i mean like the whole ai mess is just a bubble it's a bubble that's ready to pop any day now and then when it does even more people are going to lose their jobs because we're just basically going to enter the second great depression so yeah but anyway like ai is not going to take your job as a developer i mean not for many years the current models can't even complete simple tasks in a timely manner and they might just wreck your entire code base so i mean the current providers may not even exist in the next five years if they keep burning money like we're not already in a recession and even if all barriers were to be overcome like you know companies were become profitable and ai was to somehow become capable right who do you think is going to be maintaining these ai services take a wild guess software engineers so i mean developers are still going to be needed for as long as society continues to rely as heavily as it does on technology so i mean just just don't listen to the doomers you know computer science is still a viable major if you're in college and software engineering is still a profitable career path you know unless all the jobs get offshore to india but i mean you know what they say agi that really just stands for another guy in india but that's a topic for the next discussion video you know we're not going to get into that today but you know if you're a computer science major watching this and you're trying to find an internship or your first job make sure you check out my entry-level job board get your start the jobs hosted don't require any experience and the app provides skills matching and ai suggestions to help you qualify for the roles so i have a link to the video with the link to the app you know in the description it's totally free no emails required to browse the jobs um, you can also check out my video tutorials on building an Ubuntu server if you want to stand out in 2025. And also if you want to avoid losing all of your resources because you relied on AWS and they got hacked. Uh, that would that would suck. That would suck. But anyway, you know, until then, you know, please just like the video. Let me know in the comments. Do you think AI is gonna phase out developers? Do you think somehow, some way, you know, uh, Sam Altman is gonna materialize AGI and you know we're all gonna be fired, we're all gonna be uh, you know in the coal mines again um, And if you want to watch more videos like this, please subscribe, you know, this is not 20 xx I'm signing off and I hope you have a good one